So I'm drawing another sketch request for my Kickstarter backers. And um, I've only got, um, got a couple of hours left on the Kickstarter campaign. And um, yeah, it's been doing really good. I'm, I'm really happy with uh, how it's turned out and really thankful for all of the um, all the supporters who have got on and and back the Kickstarter it's um, really amazing to see all of that support and um, so when we hit 90% funded I put the call out to my backers to send in their sketch requests so I told them I'd um, do a drawing of their request and um, if they just want to tell me what to draw and uh, well, who's this one for? Scott Lambert asked for an owl bear um, relaxing in his den having a pizza party after a day of um, you know generally uh, mayhem and um, killing and whatnot and so I did a little did a little rough drawing um, here so he's got a few trophies he's got the pizza box he's got the trophies on his wall and um, yeah he's having a great time so depending on when you're watching this there might still be time to back the Kickstarter so Go check it out. I'll, I'll put a link in this post and, and um, yeah, help us, help me get my book printed. <clears throat> um, so the, the book is Myth, Mythic Creature Trainer Issue 1 and so this is the first part of a four part comic book series. So uh, the story is about a creature trainer who um, finds out well he doesn't find out till, till much later but he gets fired from his job uh, when he doesn't realize he's been set up so he's he's uh, gone and corrupted this dragon one of the king's dragons and um, it's sort of starting to mutate and it's all because of a, a potion that <clears throat> that uh, the main character fed the dragon and he has to go on a quest to find the cure and eventually bring down the uh, th those who would um, destroy the kingdom and um, yeah life as as we know it in um, the royal city of sour wind um, so this is set in the same um, the same universe as my previous um, story, Sneaky Goblins. <clears throat> Sneaky Goblins, so there's a little bit of crossover in terms of locations and whatnot, but generally, overall it's a, it's a new story, it's a new characters, and um, yeah, I'm really happy, I'm really proud of this story, I'm really excited to get it out there, and um, I'm updating it on my webcomic from uh, one page a week, and yeah, as I go along, I'm running Kickstarters to print the books and get them out to my readers. And and yeah, so if that sounds like something you'd be into, that kind of fantasy and you can see from my style, I'm kind of into that, that cartoony kind of style, so... If that sounds like something that you're into, it, um, yeah, check out the Kickstarter and and um, yeah, get your copy of the book. Yep, cool. Bye. Bye. That was my wife. She's just gonna pick up the kids from school. Uh, so what I do is, um, yeah, after I've done a rough drawing and, let me zoom out a bit, 
I've done my rough sketch and I've done my um, also done the rough pencils and I go in with my ink with my brush pen and do the black line work I used to be about a bit hesitant about um, committing to ink until I did the Kickstarter challenge that's a um, sorry the, the ink inktober challenge so every year you know in October you get on social media and you post pictures of um, that you've done and traditionally inked and I did that one year I really enjoyed it and I felt like I was getting a lot more confidence with my ink work and um, basically haven't looked back I just loved using my brush pen my Pentel brush pen and um, I think it's got a it's got a great line and you can refill it and so you know it's not messy it's it's awesome listening to a bit of crystal method in the background um, just uh, for old times sake so yeah Scott wanted me to draw this owl bear enjoying a pizza and I guess he was inspired by the name of my comic mythic creature trainer. Even though I don't have any owl bears yet in the comic, but who knows? Maybe in one of the future issues I'll be inclined to bring in an owl bear or two. I wasn't really aware of their existence in the D and D universe, so used to play a druid in World of Warcraft and they've got this um, owlkin form I guess it, that's the Warcraft version of an owlbear and um, yeah the sense I got was they're they're just a bit unpredictable you know but they're, they're not necessarily bad guys but but um, They can be aggressive, especially those night elf, um, night elf opening zones. What are they called? Uh, when you start playing, those early low level zones. You know the owl bears. Oh, sorry, the the moonkins are always getting um, poisoned by something or another which makes them go feral and your job as the night elf character is to restore balance to their environment in fact there's a few species like that there's um, oh man it's been a while since I played it but it's it's um, an idea that they've used a few times in the game. As one of those uh, quests that you have to do to level up in the opening zones. You know what, I don't think I've ever drawn a pizza box before. It's pretty self-explanatory. geometric shapes in this C 
scene. There's a coffee table. Because you can't just put the pizza box on the floor. That's uncivilised even for an owlbear. And what is that drink sitting on? It's just floating mid-air. Can't have that. Oh, that's I'll do. Sorry, Scott, I've messed up some of the perspective here. All right. Now I thought it would be cool to have some trophies on the wall. So here's a knight helmet. And a kind of a trophy. It's like his pool room. And it's like this helmet's going straight to the pool room. And if you don't know that reference, check out um, a movie called The Castle. It was made in the 1990s. It's an Australian classic. Um, and Eric Banner is one of the actors in that. He was one of the... I don't know, he was in a few movies. He was in Black Hawk Down and he was one of the Hulks. And um, he's like, you know... I'm not just satisfied with having a knight's helmet. I'm gonna, gonna put his head on my wall as well. You know, because these knights are always putting heads of griffins and owl bears on their walls. So that's what I'm gonna do for this guy. And Scott got back to me and said um, it'd be great if he had like a Ghostbusters parody poster on his wall too. So, he was like, oh, I have the Marshmallow Man as an owlbear, but I think I'll just go with the Ghostbusters logo and leave it at that. Owl Busters. It's the same idea. Busters. And there we have it. It's an owl bear just relaxing in his den after a day, a hard day of killing heroes. Alright, see you later, guys. Um, don't forget to Check out the Kickstarter if there's still time. Alright, bye.